my beautiful friend. Welcome back to another video. So before I get started, I just wanted to show you this piece of artwork that is available for sale. It has its first coat of resin on it. It will receive another one. It's a 16 by 20 gallery canvas. So it's got the really thick sides and it is just a beauty. Absolute beauty. I really love this one. Put the flash on here so you can see all the beautiful shimmer in it. So if you are interested in this piece, you can contact me, artbytammy at yahoo.com, or you can go check it out in my Etsy shop because it will be in there, along with some other pieces. I'm going to try to update my shop so that you can see everything I have available because I do have a lot of pieces available that are not on there. So there's that. Gorgeous. One other quick thing I wanted to tell you, Loli Vethi, the seller of the silicone mats and many other products, which I'll show you a few in a second, has offered my channel a 10% discount, which is extremely kind. So I just wanted to bring that to your awareness. I have a bunch of people that ask me how I clean my mat. So let's say this is acrylic paint, not resin on here. Uh, these work really, really well for acrylic with um, with resin, acrylic skins, uh, things like that. But let's say you just want to clean it and you have paint drips, you have resin drips, blah, blah, blah. How I do it is I will use tape, any kind of tape. This is aluminum tape, but you can use any kind of tape. I will put the tape on top of the drips. I'll put a big piece and I'll push it down the whole canvas or the whole mat and then rip it up and they peel right off. Another way that you can do this is you can spread your mat out just like I have it here. You can spritz it with water and then get a scraper, which they, they have scrapers that you can get along with these and it will scrape right off. Let the water sit for about 15 minutes and it'll scrape right off. Me, to me, this is a clean mat. <laughs> I never really clean it all the way. It doesn't bother me, but if it bothers you, those are two ways to do it. So as I said, they're met, they're offering this 10% off coupon code now. So you have two choices. If you just want to buy a mega or jumbo mat through Loli Vefi, there is a $5 code down below. If that's all you're buying. Now let's say you want to go and buy, um, a mat, a couple of their awesome squeeze bottles they have to put your paints in for your Dutch pours, um, and a few beakers to mix colors, then you can use the 10%. You can actually use the 10% off of the mat by itself also, but I think the math, the way it works out that the $5 off may be better, don't quote me there. All I know is I have a code now for 10% off. So they sell all types of silicone products, including these cute little coaster molds to make your geode style freeform coasters. Um, they sell wood rounds. I'll show you one of those here. She now has a very thick, um, wood round there's two types they have a, a thinner side one which if you use acrylic on it and you don't prime it the right, the right way it will warp so you have to make sure you prime it first now there's also these thicker ones and this is the back and these perform a lot better because they are thicker now if you're doing resin or um, acrylic pouring on them you definitely still want to prime them so the wood does not breathe and cause air bubbles and all kinds of things. But for the price of these, I'm telling you that she offers them at a really great price. You will not find a wood round cheaper, I don't think. Um, I haven't looked everywhere on the internet, but the main places that I go, she's definitely the cheapest for the wood rounds. And she also has this new um, 
3D silicone mat where you can just put your artwork right on here. These work great for resin, acrylic pouring not so much. So you can put your artwork right on there and now it's not sitting flush, it's raised up and you can work on it, let it cure and then pop it right off, okay? So there's a ton of products. The link is in the description below. Really reasonable prices. I'm telling you, go check it out. And I will have that new code there for you if you are interested in buying anything. She also has like these really cool serving trays that you can decorate the inside, which we're going to be doing soon. So I just wanted to bring that to you, let you know about that. And now on with the painting. So I got a viewer request and I thought this would be really interesting to do. It was a gentleman and he asked me if I would do a Dutch pour in a camouflage palette. And I said, you know something, that'll be cool. I've not seen that done yet. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, all my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water. The description will have all of that information for you. I'll show you the consistency here. So it's very runny. And I'm just going to pour it on the canvas now. I always get asked how much can how much paint do you put on the canvas? Well, you're going to see here that I don't measure the the amount of paint that I put on here. Um, I just pour some on, just like so, and then I will take the paint and I will tilt it around. We'll dump the extra onto the other canvas here. And I clearly don't have enough, so I'll come back and I'll add a little more paint here, just like so. As long as the canvas is covered and you don't see it through the paint, that's, that's what you're looking for. There's not really a depth to it, per se. You're just covering the canvas in white paint. Okay, just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other one while I pause you guys, and I will be right back. I wanna apologize if it seems a little dark. My lighting has decided to quit working on me, so. I have to look into some new lighting. Anyway, here are the colors we're using for our camouflage palette. Muted Green by Liquitex. Shadow Green by Holbein. Phosphorant Green, which is glow in the dark. How fun is that going to be? Green Gold. And the base that you see here is tight and buff. Um, I'm also going to add in a copper by Folk Art that I already have mixed up. Now I have all of these and the base mixed up with Floetrol in water. That was the big question for my last video. I did three different techniques while I, I talk I'm going to put the colors down I did three different techniques using or the same technique using three different recipes and for some people reason people were confused so let me explain really quick that last video if you mix your paints with Floetrol and water that's what the base is mixed with if you mix your paints with Liquitex pouring medium that's what the base is mixed with also the house paint recipe is the only recipe where the house paint is mixed with only water and the colors are mixed with something different, okay? Hopefully that will clear it up a little bit. All right, so this is the darkest of the greens, which is that shadow green. I have them all mixed in my 
lowly bottles here. These work really well, especially if you do a lot of Dutch pours, these squeeze bottles. Um, the next one I'm going to use is green, the green gold. Then I'm going to add in that phosphorant green. This piece is going to be glowing, baby. I probably should have started a little bit lower on the canvas. I don't know why I went so high there. I should have probably started down here and then came up a little bit, but we'll figure it out as we go. So that was the phosphorant green. Then I'm going to use some of that Liquitex green, which was the muted green. Just give them a shake, they've been sitting. Then the copper. I'm gonna add in a little bit of that background paint. And then we're gonna torch. Torch everything. We're gonna pull out little Miss Angelina Blowley. <laughs> I love saying that. <laughs> uh, this is in my Amazon shop for anybody that's interested. And I reorganized my Amazon shop. Everything's in its own category now, so go check it out. It's in the description. So anyway, we are going to start. Oh boy, this is really high. I wonder if I can pull it down just a little bit. Let's try to tilt it downward a little bit. I'm worried that it's a little too high. Now let's bring this one down too with it. These, by the way, are 11 by 14 canvases. All right, here we go. here I'm going to do a little something different. Let's see what your angle looks like. I'm going to get some really cool cells. Um,
and I'm going to pull out the airbrush. Another thing someone asked me recently, is this literally plug in and go once you buy it? And the answer is yes. You literally screw the hose onto the little black box and you start blowing. It's that simple. Turn it on and go. So now I'm just going to kind of define it a little bit. I went, when I went and tilted it, I took the paint and it kind of spread it out a little bit. So it was thinner in areas. So that's why I was having a hard time moving it. But we'll get it fixed here. This would look great in a man cave. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it right there. From my angle, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna show it to you. I really like it, actually, especially this gold in the center, yeah. This thing is going to light up and then we also get to see that like this right here I believe is that phosphorus green so this is gonna glow in the dark hopefully um, I'll show it to you finished not in the next video because obviously that will be I make these videos and I release them right away so what you're seeing was done three or four hours ago so for tomorrow's video, it probably won't be in there because it won't be resined yet, but it will be shown. So here we go. This is your view. And I will flip it around and show you what I'm seeing. It's pretty cool. These are kind of earthy colors. They would actually match in my living room as well. And this is my view. So the this one here is going off the canvas. So what I'm going to do is just blow this one, this area right here, up a little bit just to balance it out. And I'll show you that before I turn the camera off. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So there is your camouflage themed Dutch pour. Very, very cool. So if you guys have any requests, as long as they're not so crazy that <laughs> I end up in the hospital from doing them, you know, leave a comment or let me know. And make sure you check out the description for the coupon uh, codes for your, all your savings on your art supplies. My Amazon shop where everything is nice and organized now. I even made a category for new paint pourers. Everything you would need to do your first painting. So you get that stuff, follow one of my videos, and you will be all set. Yes. And now that I'm looking at this, I'm thinking that I am not going to blow that area up to the top because I like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape this right here and just blow this out a little bit. I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so this one area right here. I'm going to take my little skewer. I'm going to go just like this. I'm 
I'm going to put some paint there, some base paint back in there. Cover that up and get rid of it. Okay. I'm going to spread it out a little bit. And now I'm going to take my airbrush and just lightly Do that fixed <laughs> there you go so there you have it my friends I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please if you are not already please subscribe please comment and please click the like button I would truly appreciate it and make sure you check out my Etsy shop for the other piece of art and much much more until the next time, I love you all and happy pouring.